All right, I'm finished grading the test. The highest score was a 98%, and the lowest score was a negative 12%. In this video, we're going to talk about advanced U substitution. And I know we just learned about U substitution, and we looked at examples where kind of everything works out nice and neat, where you see a function and its derivative, you just replace things with U and DU, and take the antiderivative. Um, in these examples, we're going to look at some cases where it doesn't work out as nicely as we would want, although using U substitution is still going to be really important. So let's take a look at this example where we have the antiderivative of 5x plus 7 to the 20th power dx. And, you know, we could multiply this out 20 times, 5x plus 7 times itself 20 times, but that would be really problematic and it would take a really long time. So we don't, we don't actually want to do that. Um, we don't actually want to multiply this out 20 times, so we're just going to use the u substitution to make this easier on ourselves. And first, our first step is always deciding what u will be. So in this case, it makes sense for u to be this stuff in the parentheses, 5x plus 7. Then, the next step is find something for dx. So you take the derivative of u with respect to x, and you also take the derivative of 5x plus 7 with respect to x, which is just 5. Then, you want to get du by itself, so we have du is equal to 5 dx. Let's look back at the problem. Which components do we have? Well, we have the 5x plus 7, let me grab a different color for this. We have 5x plus 7, and we have this dx, but this 5 isn't anywhere. So this is why this doesn't work out so nicely, because we have u and dx, but we're kind of missing this 5. If we had a 5, we could replace this, this with du. So what we have to do is add in the 5 ourselves. So I'm going to rewrite this problem. 5x plus 7 to the 20th power, 5dx. And I just added in the 5, because that's what we're going to need right over here. Um, but you already know, you know, kind of rules of mathematics say we can't just go throwing fives wherever we want them to be. So we need to balance this five out by adding a one-fifth to the outside of this integral. Because if we add a five and a one-fifth, we're not really changing anything because that'll multiply to just being one. Okay. Now we can rewrite this integral with u and du. So we have u to the 20th power, because u is 5x plus 7, and then 5dx is equal to du, with this 1 fifth on the outside that we had to add in. Now we'll take the antiderivative, 1 fifth times u to the 21 over 21 plus c, and our last step will be, just like in the last video, we'll substitute in for u. We have um, u to the 21st, or we want to say 5x plus 7 to the 21st, all over 5 times 21, all over 105, plus c. Let's look at another example x times 4x squared minus 7 to the 10th power with respect to x. And, you know, we could simplify this out, multiply it out 10 times, then multiply times x, but that's just really time consuming, so we're going to use u substitution instead. So first, we need to decide what u is. And u is going to be equal to our 4x squared minus 7. And just like before, we need to find out what's du over dx. What's the derivative of u? And here it looks like the derivative will be 8x. Get du by itself. This is an, always an awkward step here in the middle, but it has to be done. 8x dx. Now we'll just look back at our problem. Which of these things do you actually see? 
Well, you see 4x minus 4x squared minus 7. We're good there. And you see a dx and an x. Here's dx and here's x. So what we're missing is this 8. We're missing this piece right here, this 8. So we'll need to add that in for ourselves. So let's rewrite the integral, but let's add in this missing 8. Keep everything else the same. But you know, we can't just add an 8 whenever we feel like it. That changes the nature of the problem. So to balance it out, we're going to add a 1 8 out in front. That balances out the 8. 8 times 1 8 is 1, so we're allowed to do this. So let's rewrite the integral, keeping that 1 8 out in front. And then we can write, okay, this is u to the 10th power, and 8x dx is du. We'll take the antiderivative, 1 8 times u to the 11th power over 11 plus c. Multiply the 1 8 through and plug u back in because this problem is not about u, it's about the original problem. So let's plug that back in. That was 4x squared. Actually, let's use blue for this. That's 4x squared minus 7 to the 11th power over 88 plus c.